Hey, what's going on, fellas? And uh, we're back again with uh, Tech Vitamins. This is uh, Ted. Uh, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to route the uh, brand new uh, HTC Amaze 4G phone uh, available on T-Mobile. So uh, before we get started, there are a few uh, prerequisites uh, that you have to have first. And uh, the first one is the uh, Android SDK. Now we'll have to you'll have to have that installed and updated. Uh, second one is the Java runtime environment that will also have to be installed and updated. And then we'll also need to get the uh, HTC Sync tool, which you can uh, get from the HTC developers website. I'll show you where to get that here in just a moment. And then finally, we're going to uh, need the uh, actually the one-click routing tool that you can uh, find on uh, the XDA developers website. Uh, so yep, let's go ahead and uh, jump right on into this here. Um, so uh, first things first, what, you're, what you'll want to do is we'll go ahead, you're going to go to the um, HTC developers webpage and you're going to go ahead and create a count, an account and uh, don't worry it is free you can see here that I'm already logged in uh, but what you want to do here is just uh, create that account and once you create the account login and we're going to go to uh, unlock bootloader we'll go ahead and click get started on that and we'll go ahead and click on begin unlock process and you you know you'll go ahead and uh, agree to uh, all their pop-ups and then you'll come to a page here where you've got some instructions and this is where you're uh, gonna have to grab your phone and you'll follow follow these instructions to put the phone into uh, fast boot and um, to get into fast boot you'll uh, just hold the volume down button and then hold power and you'll boot into uh, fast boot so uh, basically a white screen has got some text at the top and then it's got three androids on the skateboard at the bottom and uh, once you once you get into bootloader uh, I'm sorry fast boot mode you're gonna go ahead and connect the uh, phone to your uh, PC we'll go ahead and go on to the next step. Now here's where it might get a, a little bit confusing for uh, for some users who are, aren't familiar with ADB and Fastboot. Um, but uh, what, we'll, what we'll have to do is um, um, you've already downloaded the uh, Android SDK. And inside the SDK are certain files that we need to communicate with the, uh, the Amaze phone. So we're going to go ahead and navigate to the folder that the SDK comes into which is going to be under program files a x86 Android and yours may also be under Android SDK under under one more folder but I just uh, cut that off just so I won't have to dig down into one more folder uh, then we're going to go ahead and go into platform tools and all of the files that you need are inside of this folder it's uh, adb.exe uh, ADB, uh, what did I do? Did I copy something? Yeah, we don't want to copy that. We'll delete that. ADB.exe, ADB Win, uh, oh, I copied ADB Win API as well. So we'll get rid of that. Okay, so we need ADB.exe, ADB Win API.dll, and then we also need fastboot.exe. So we'll highlight those files, we'll copy them. And just to make it easier when we're navigating around in the uh, command prompt, we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, C drive. And as you can see, I've made a folder called root. Um, just makes it easier to get to, like I said, when you're navigating to, through the C drive. So um, you can go ahead and make a folder called root or on the HTC developers webpage if you want to follow those directions to the T. They have... Um, made the example of, of making it Android but I just wanted to go ahead and I made, made it root and then I pasted those three files into the folder so we've gone ahead and done that once you've done that then we can go ahead and open up our command prompt and we're gonna go ahead and navigate to that uh, folder that you made that has those three files into it for me it's root uh, just nice and easy and to to make sure that you uh, that you actually have everything set up correctly before you start throwing in fast boot commands you can type fast boot devices and as you can see 
it sees my HTC Amaze there. So one, once we're good to go on that, the next command that we're going to type, and um, don't worry, all of this is on the uh, HTC developers webpage. So if I'm moving too quick, either pause the video or you can go, uh, you know, you can reference back and forth as well. Uh, so the command that we're going to type is fastboot OEM underscore. Where did that command go? Fastboot OEM underscore get underscore identifier underscore token. Oh, nope, I didn't type something correct. Okay, so fastboot OEM get underscore token. Okay, there we go. Typed it correctly this time. You're going to get a whole bunch of junk. And what you want to do is you want to copy, you want to copy everything besides these infos. So uh, what, what I what I had to do is I just copied copied the whole command, uh, you know, the whole command prompt window, and I opened up opened up Notepad and pasted it, and I had to delete that the infos on each line. So you got to make sure that you don't have those infos on each line. And, and like I said, the easiest way to do that is to probably just go ahead and uh, copy the whole command prompt and then paste it into notepad and then make your uh, make your adjustments there and then copy that whole thing um, so so now that we've got that copied we're gonna go ahead and jump back to the net and we'll scroll past all of this here and we'll scroll down here and right where you see my device identifier token you're going to go ahead and paste that input there or output there I should say sorry uh, so you paste that there and you hit submit and if everything is good to go you'll get another web page saying you know hooray we've uh, we've received it and then shortly you'll receive an email and uh, now in that email there is an attachment named unlock underscore code dot bin and you're going to want to uh, download that and we'll take that. Let's see. Download that, and we will take that. Copy it, and you're going to paste that into the same file or the same folder that you got those three files from the uh, Android SDK into. So now you've got four files, and we're going to go ahead and jump back to the command prompt and this time we're going to enter in the command fastboot flash unlock token space unlock underscore code dot bin you'll hit enter now the reason why I'm getting this uh, this output here is that my phone my phone has already um, my phone has already had an unlocked bootloader so I'm not going to not going to get the same output that you'll get but you will get an output that looks let me jump back to the uh, HTC developers webpage you're going to get an output that looks like this right here and you just want to make sure that unlock token uh, check successfully pops up and you'll see finished and what you'll get on the phone is a web is a not a web page sorry is a pay is a uh, an image that looks like this and then you've got yes and no at the bottom it's asking you to unlock the bootloader you're gonna uh, using the volume keys you're gonna uh, move from from uh, no to yes and you're gonna want you're gonna want to hit the power button um, to to select yes to unlock the bootloader uh, the phone will uh, reboot itself and wipe all the data so if you got anything that you want to keep before you're unlocking the bootloader um, make sure you back up and you should be should be backing up anyway before you do anything like this uh, also um, so once you once you've done that the uh, phone will reboot and wipe itself and then we're going to um, head on over to the XDA developers web page, the forum pages. Um, if you're having a hard time finding this um, 
finding this thread, um, just uh, just Google search XDA root HTC Amaze, and it'll be the first uh, first thread that you see in the search results. So I've opened uh, opened up that page, and this is where you're going to go ahead and download that um, one click root tool. So you download download the one click root tool, and it's going to come in a uh, zip folder. So you unzip that uh, unzip that folder, and then you're going to go ahead and um, then we are going to uh, you know after the, since the phone is rebooted, we've uh, you're going to connect your phone back to the uh, computer. Make sure you have UDB or uh, USB debugging enabled on the phone, and you're going to double click uh, Zerg Rush Temp Root, which is a script. And the computer will run that script, and in about three minutes, you'll get uh, you'll get confirmation that it has completed at the bottom of the command prompt. Once you get that confirmation you will be good to go and uh, super user will be installed um, once you once you unplug your phone again from the computer you just go ahead and reboot the phone and you've gone ahead and now you've got uh, permanent root so uh, so yeah guys I mean the the um, the process is pretty pretty simple just uh, just might be a little a uh, little daunting if you've never used uh, ADB and fastboot uh, now, if you're running in running into uh, issues with ADB and Fastboot, if we get um, get a lot of users running into problems with that, I'll uh, we'll go ahead and do a video on uh, you know setting up ADB and Fastboot and making sure everything is good to go. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, root on the uh, HTC Amaze 4G, and uh, thanks goes to uh, all the guys at. Uh, XDA developers and uh, thank you all for watching post your uh, comments questions and concerns and uh, yep yeah, take care fellas